Yo. Yo. We grinding. We're back at it. We got Judgment Awakening tonight, man. Let's do it. Let's lock in. About to go down these dungeon, this dungeon list backwards. Let's do it. I actually need to go get some potions out of Choco Garden real quick first though. Let's go. Choco Garden. Oh my god. Black seems to be a lot less today. I'm guessing because a lot of folks have left the building. That's great. Plus this character kind of runs slow. Slower than what I'm used to. What's up, John? What's going on, brother? Damn, I don't have any 1k pots on this character. That's crazy. That's crazy. Looking at 2700. Oh no, my pet expired. Oh no. What do you mean you can swear a couple? What do you mean by that, brother? Wait, what, what was I talking about? Oh, talking about uh, EXP pots? No, it's all good, brother. I appreciate that. I already use it. I use the 88. I'm not doing my full rotation right now. I need to get some of the potions out of here. And then after I get those potions, I'm going to go ahead and run the new dungeon backwards to get some stuff. Especially since we have double chests in most of these dungeons. I think we have double chests in most. Or maybe it's just Spring of Echo backwards. I don't know. I don't know about these. It's probably not most. <laughs> Need to turn my damage off. We're getting. I got so used to not seeing it, it is honestly annoying to see on screen now.
Gotta get used to playing this though. It's a good practice before I go into the big dungeon anyway. What's the progress looking like these days, John? I know you were playing earlier, too. Yeah, this is a new weapon, brother. What's going on, slurp? It slows down a little bit. Now it's time to get your damage up so you can solo the hard EXP dungeons and you'll level up pretty fast. If that's what you care about. But either way, you probably gotta work just, uh, worry about and focus on getting your damage up. Like your general account stats. Right. What I needed right there. Now we're all set to go. Yep, champs and whatnot. Yes, sir. Need to do that stuff myself. Let's see. Over two. Unknown forest. Oh no, theater. 50 50 man max web earlier for cheap. Nice. Nice. Is that a. It was a max out? Was it at plus six? And that's for what class? What's the class you mean? I actually need to spend some more money on potions. Let's see here. Let's get all the stuff on my inventory. go turn in these rep items and get some rep potions I don't think these give potions though but Velfa library does let's see here You don't know? What is what does it say on it? Is it does it say lucent? If it's lucent, that's plus six. Oh, it's plus zero. Okay. What's up, Ack? I saw you in game earlier, dude. Yeah, 
Okay, vibing. It's good to hear, brother. As one should. Why go through life without a vibe, you feel me? Why go through life doing anything else? That's my rep on this. Super Ivy versus Velpa Challenger, 297k. So that means I can get the food. Boom. That's 180. Then let's spend the rest of this on these kids. What else do I normally put on this? I'm up to I'm about to I do the in-game dungeon go down the list a bit and then probably uh, try to do a bit of EXP dungeons and then I'll likely swap over to another character whatever weapon I get out of the in-game dungeon run and I'm probably just freelancing it at this point but the goal is to get more mats and more EXP Pretty much progress through the game. Natural progression. Let's see. Alright, I got everything I need, I think. And everything I'm not will make me everything I am, you feel me? Let's see. Oh, God. Crit rate. Crit rate, crit rate. That ought to do the trick. How does one go about getting stronger? I feel like I'm stuck on the power test since forever. What level are you, my brother? What power test are you referring to as well? I want to go to the better map before I talk about this. Because I love to talk about this. I want to go on the map with better music. Power test one. Okay, so let's go through how to get stronger in order. Let's go in order. So the first way to get stronger, press K, go to legend skills, make sure you complete your legend skill quest line. After you've uh, done that, go over runestone, make sure you consume your runestone for the level you're at to make sure you have a full runestone. You can spend Ely to get more runestone scrolls in, from the NPC that's in Bellos, the old guy. Uh, after that, you want to look at your reputation, look at these first one, two, three, four, five reputations. Oh, six and seven, Void and Giandia as well. Uh, you want to go to your guidebook, you want to go to contents, you want to go to, oh, no, you want to go to upgrade, and you want to go to reputations and click on these individual reputation NPCs. It'll tell you where they're at. You go to them, you do the quests that are associated with them to get more rep, as well as killer monsters in those areas, and then also. Um, you go to the dungeons associated with those areas and they or some of the fields and they drop quest items and you farm those quest items to get the reputation points up to get those stats from reputation. 
uh, after you're done doing that or on the side of doing that you go to your illustration book you look at monster illustration you start killing all the monsters in the game to get their illustration card those stats add up you go to item codex you start looking at the item uh, codex as well for all the items you can codex at ignit in elias city and and you'll be able to give those to him to get your stats up as well uh, after you've done a bit of that as well you're 136 you want to press your uh, you're 189 i mean i'm sorry you want to press your champion scroll make sure you did your champion quest get these champs through their champion missions on the side uh, after you've done some of that you want to make sure you go and look at your summonables as well make sure you unlock these summonables all their individual quests use those when you're in dungeons to get damage boost and whatnot uh, after you've done some of that you want to go to your memorial page and do these missions of the days to unlock all your memorial slots and get your first free rows of memorials of free stats after you've done some of that let's see um you can also go to your achievement it won't give you as much stats as achievement is achievement is really low stats uh, but it all adds up okay then after you've done all those systems or focused on them to some extent that I just mentioned then you want to go to your guidebook you want to go to item you want to look at your level for your weapon make sure you have the best weapon you can get for your level then you want to look at the armor make sure you got the best armor you can get for your level accessory same thing then unique equips make sure you have all the unique equips that are meet your level as well and then the associated dungeons are down below and then when you get all those items as well as um, we'll skip gems for now you should have free gems from the burning event uh, so we will skip those for now and then all these special equips get all those from dungeons as well you want to fill every single slot every slot you have in your special page uh, you want to fill um and then you want to join a guild do guild crops and get your advanced guild ring get your advanced guild accessories here uh, and then as you get to a little higher level you'll start getting your challenge sinkers pendant you, where you go to Elias, talk to the two NPCs that are standing next to each other, and you do weekly challenge. You should be able to do the first map, um, at least, and maybe the second map, but probably not likely. Uh, and the second challenge, and then you use that to buy your pendant from those NPCs. Uh, and that should give you a boost to get Asthma's Harmonious Blush uh, or Handkerchief. You can get a your first handkerchief for 200 mil. Uh, it'll give you a small damage boost and then you can upgrade that to plus 10 fairly easily once you get a, a couple bill and then uh, from there um, let's see here what else we got talk about gear yeah once again make sure you fill all your slots if the slot isn't filled figure out what you can do to find that item to fill it then make sure you upgrade all this stuff um, and if you want to enchant it you can enchant it as well and then if you got some money and you want to spend some money you can go to the cash shop you can go to cash shop you go over to ice flower charm coupon you buy a bunch of those try to get to plus 10 you can also get free ice flower charms from doing the main quest line uh, you do the main quest line chapter one and two will give you about five or so of those charms at, at least probably more they're in here somewhere uh as well as a bunch of other free stuff so you want to do that and then you want to make sure you go to bellows and get your tangu totem if you don't have that uh, from the NPC, old guy npc and you know over time there are free events that will give you uh, tangu upgrade fragments you don't have any right here or you can go to the cash shop type in tangu And you can get Tengu fragments here as well to upgrade that faster. And then there's a flash sale right now for after image. You want to get you an after you want to buy 10 of these if you if you want to spend money and get you an after image plus 10. That will give you a bit of stats. Where the hell is that thing at? Where is the after image at? Oh, it's right here. That'll give you a bit of stats as well to make you faster and whatnot. And that's about it. Oh, oh yeah, you're right, BZ. Thanks, BZ. I forgot about that part. Oh, and then if you got some money, I'm going to buy some pets as well. If you don't want to buy them this way, save up your in-game Ely. Go to the auction house and buy pets from other people. All right, there you go. You're now strong.
You strong now, brother. Are the bonus coins still in the game right now? I feel like they haven't been they haven't been dropping recently. Oh wow, that's some amazing lag. Damn, I forgot to turn my damage off again. This shit is strong though. I'm not strong enough to just sit and take hits though. Gotta figure out how to play it. Definitely got some invulnerability skills. That I could abuse. It's gonna be a work in progress though. Couple binds as well. I need to switch to the backflip skill so I can do the air recovery. I can't tell if this skill has the air recovery or not. This uh, rollback skill. This shit is cool though. <laughs> this is a very cool class to play. Damn. Way too much rolling. We're rolling way too far. Oh, it's not an air recovery. I need that backflip. I just don't know where I'm gonna put this sniping skill if I can use the backflip. I can get good, not get hit. Hey, yo, did I get the quest for this? Okay, I did. I'm like, no quest are completing right now. This mouse move fast as shit. Oops. I gotta get used to this class, dude. Hey, yo. Come of mine. Honestly, rolling away 
to try to kite is not always the best option. Just using the road to get some distance to actually run. To, then once I run, actually set up the actual kite. That's the main problem. I rely too much on the roads to try to get distance. When the road's really just an escape. Still gotta run after you roll. And then not stand in, in the mobs. That also helps. Oh my god. <laughs> the spikes one shot? Jesus. This is hard. I'm not using none of my real good utilities though. Need to develop a dependency item, uh, dependency skill. Like when I play DF, there's like two skills I always depend on. They always keep me alive. That was pretty clean. Picked up the fourth badge, nice. I wonder how much stronger it is. It already has 200 more basic stats, base, and then but only three more attack, no, one more attack damage. So I got to enchant this. Yeah, I got to enchant this. Oh my gosh. How many deaths is that? That's I'm like six deaths in already. That's crazy. It's pretty cool. I gotta learn it though. It's definitely not free. strong though for sure got a couple shields and immunity and a lot of binds Definitely gotta learn how to kite. But once you get a good combo going though, this hits pretty hard.
I just haven't had to actually kite in a while, so I kind of forgot how. But honestly, all you do is use a skill, and then you input the the run inputs in the opposite direction. I just haven't done it in so long. Because after you get knocked back, you can always run immediately after. But if you stand still, you're going to keep get knocked back a lot. I'm getting the hang of it though pretty quickly. I died like six times in the first two maps. Nah, this is only my third run since last night. I did two runs last night. Got this weapon the first run with the Star Seeker web, and then the Star Seeker run I had got the um, Black Anima web, so I might play Black Anima later tonight. Well, depending on what I get from this run. Bro, they broke that shield so quick. They broke that shield almost like as, as soon as the animation ended. Class would be unplayable without the damage mitigation on the slash skills. Might be dead here. I need to stop using that skill. That's for sure. That shit gets me killed. I might take it off my hotbar. Yeah, I'm about to do this. I'm going to put take this off my hot bar just because it's so dangerous and then put this there and get the backflip so I can actually have some more survivability oh probably should kill these mobs before doing all that though <laughs> yeah that backflip's a saver It just sucks that our server is so laggy. Makes it hard to tell where you're at. Like, all the added mobility is cool, but when you barely can benefit from it because you ne never know where you're at, that's tough. Like, exactly where you're standing. Yeah, but my laptop doesn't make me teleport, though. That's all, definitely the server. You gotta play pre-awakening judgment because it's absolutely terrible. 
It's significantly less range. All the swings have no range at all. And they're unsafe. Less CC. Less shields. It's not a 100% chance to bleed mobs with the swings. Less hits, less damage. I don't know, the Great Sword Hero doesn't roll away and, and, sh and attack from a distance with every skill though. Like these slashes are ranged. I mean, they both got awakened on the same day, so it's not really one copy and another. What we got, man? What we got? Sorcerer weapon. Oh, I got another orb. I got an orb last night. And then Guardian Knuckles. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't believe any of this. I got a Sorcerer orb already, though, so I'll sell this one. Oh, and we got a dagger. Nice. That's pretty nice. I need that dagger for my Windstalker.
Dagger's nice. Damn, that was a 20 minute run. This shit is so strong, oh my god. the Genesis. Which one is that? Which one is Twisted Genesis? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like color palette wise. I gotta turn my damage off. I, I keep forgetting that, bruh. <laughs> this shit is melting these monsters, though. Oh my god. I think it's that bleed. Yeah, it has to be that bleed.
Oh, I was just about to say, I haven't died in this run yet. I think I'll just post this. <laughs> nope. Maybe next time. Might still post it though. Such a clean run. For a new dungeon. God damn. Awakening champion skill, I think it's six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's the six. Rank six is when it evolves. That was a quick run. Those new dungeons are nice, man. Need to do that, um the open world quest over there too back on the other map forgot about those I forgot what his his pre evolved champ was like. Is that the one where like he it's like a one sword slice? I don't remember. Oh wow, complete new player. A lot of these new guys they come for a good day or two though. They don't come back. It is what it is. Not even a day or two, really a day. Oh wow, Instagram, that's nice.
I can't believe I actually like this class. Probably just because of how fast the skills are. They come out so quick. And the animations aren't that long. Besides a couple that I, I don't like that much, but I barely use them. That summon is so strong. That uh, weapon skill summon. Oh, I can't move. <laughs> wow, I've never gotten locked in the corner by that. Damn, bro, that summon she does with those blades is the most inconvenient thing on the planet. I actually cannot wait to never have to do this dungeon ever again for the rest of my life. Just because of the boss. I guess every once in a while they gotta introduce a boss that's completely unfun to play. What's up, it's a chawa.
Yeah, man. It'd be like that sometimes, man. There's a lot of games out there. Unheard of. Today's the day. Today's the day you will hear about it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Looks like it. Well, technically he's not a player, he's just a guy on YouTube. New interest. Fresh meat. Oh wow. Looks like the algorithm works. I have games like MapleStory in the uh, tags. Do you live in? I think at reset, I'm gonna run theater again on this character and try to make a video out of it. I'm getting a little flow of this class now. Really, the backflip helps a lot. I'm dead. I gotta stop using this skill. Dark Chaser. The next class I'm about to play is Black Anima. Black Anima Theater. I might actually post that before I post this. Jade Black Anima. Oh my god, I killed this boss so fast. That's actually insane.
Man, this class is good. Like, I don't know if I like it per se that much, but it's definitely good. It just does too much damage. Not be like too much damage really fast. You just killed those mobs in two hits. Granted, I'm using a new weapon and whatnot, and a new elemental stone. Once I get a weapon across all my characters, the daily grind is going to be so much faster to get to level cap. Well, outside of the fact that I got to run the new weapon dungeon now, a part of that grind, which naturally slows it down significantly by an extra, like, 30 minutes with the two new dungeons. Um, I wouldn't say it's slow on EXP, it's just that the other two classes I compare it to are really fast, which is Windia and Dagger Windstalker, but it's probably average is not fast compared to everything else. It's just a, a little bit annoying, you gotta press more skills to actually hit everything. But that's really just a privilege of playing Windia and Dagger Windstalker. Where you got these big skills that go across the whole map and you just clear out entire platforms. And this damage is absolutely insane though. With this weapon. This is a non-enchanted weapon. Seventeen deaths on theaters. I mean, you're you're better with your uh, your black anima though. Like this game takes skill. It's not just stats and classes. You gotta actually play the game with some, with some thought. What's up, cat? Oh, 17 Dark Chaser diffs. Hopefully I get a weapon. Good night. Probably gonna play this next my next rotation on Black Anima. I might stop doing EXP dungeons though, because EXP dungeons are just not fun. I may just start doing all loot dungeons and just rotating through characters. But there are two EXP dungeons I have to do. I have to do Choco Garden and I have to do Rivera City Hall because I need the mats and the potions. But I'm probably going to stop doing the other dungeons though, like Aurora Garden especially. Uh, definitely hate Garden of the Prime Ring and Mysterious Hog. At this point, I don't need to do those. Good EXP or not. They're not worth it all around. So I'm probably going to switch up my rotation. And that should make playing the game feel better too. More rewarding. Nice. Congrats, bro. I actually want to play the game, like, you know, get the actual gameplay experience for most of the time I'm playing. So to just do 
If I just do Choco and Rivera, that really should only take up about 10 minutes of my run. 10, maybe 15, 10 to 15 maybe. Probably less than that, depending on what class I'm playing. And then from there, I'll just go and play the loot dungeons. And then that way I probably can play three classes a day consistently. Because even today I got to run Echo, but I'm, I'm no, I don't know. I feel like I'm on the fence with Echo. I feel like I may just wait till the spring when we get the next accessory dungeon. Because they're about to drop an accessory dungeon on Korea and Latel. Because I actually do not like upgrading accessories on this game. They take way too long. And the dungeons are not the most fun dungeons. Like, I don't like the first map in Echo. No, it's a couple maps, actually. Echo has these weird platform setups that are really not fun to play. This game is called Latell Online, my brother. Looks like this title attracts quite the quite the crowd. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Let's go. Did I die at all? I don't want to post another purgatory video. I just did one. Gotta give me a judgment video though. I must have a low boss amp or something. Yeah, only 19.7 boss amp. Because some of these bosses are staying alive way too long compared to others. Or maybe it's my low crit rate because I have only 45 crit rate in this character. A lot of loot for one run. Okay, now is the moment. I'm going to do it. It's time to turn off my damage. Oh my god, I was so tired of seeing that damage. Those numbers are just so big, bro. All right. Let's turn these quests in. Back to that smooth gameplay experience, you feel me? It's been an hour. 
It took me an hour to get to this point. And I have... Four dungeons left. Got to find a good rotation. I got the invis damage skin from there was a there was an attendance event we had like a month or two ago where he gave out these boxes these uh they're like this golden orangish color box i think they're called a tell royalty box gamma box and i just pulled it out of there from the attendance I think you can get those boxes, the special, the special royalty boxes or special whatever they're called. I think they're also inside of the, the silver and gold coin loot table. You can also go on Google and type in Latel invisible damage skin coupon and it should bring up the, the patch notes wherever in the past that it showed that you get it from a box as an item in theory should be able to google that or google like Lutel special royalty box loot table no probably not from auction house if this is an auction house it'd be worth a lot of money it's, it's a rare skin event um well, not event. This is technically a gamma box skin. But since that, that box hasn't been in the actual shop in a long time, I highly doubt you'll be able to find one in the auction house. Yeah, I literally just got it too, like three weeks ago. The week I started streaming again, I got it. Man, these skills hit so much damage. It's just insane. What's going on, grinding? There's a god in the chat. I knew I felt a heavy presence. There was a thick aura. Resonating in the chat. Yeah, this update is actually really good. <laughs> it actually really is really, really good, bro. <laughs> no one has noticed like those two new dungeons are easily some of the best dungeons they've ever created especially the weapon dungeon that weapon dungeon is so good bro like i i it's not 
often that I, I really say I enjoy the dungeons I'm playing. Like they're it's like, oh this is cool. This has good music. I see what they did here. But nah, that weapon dungeon is good. Like G O O D. That is fun. It's a great experience. It makes me want to get better to not die so much. Damn. Now this dungeon is some shit. It's some trash. I hope they keep it up for that whole new uh that whole new region. But it looks like they are because the next two dungeons are coming out that are on Korean Latel look really good too. And the bosses are really well made in concept. Now, I bet that accessory dungeon that's coming out is going to be the first accessory dungeon in five years. That is an absolute headache. And that boss looks really cool too. The guy holding the shield with the, with the gun. It's pretty cool. This update is absolutely crazy. They did Black Anima. Lantern Black Anima, that's what I'm playing next tonight. They did that that so well, bro, with that stun. Cause I can I'm pretty sure I can play that class and just jump around in the The sword guy. It's gonna the sword guy. Whatever the summon is called is <laughs> gonna do all the work. Stunning everybody. A good little jump around class. Oh, it's nice. I need to get we need to get some better latency going on around here, though, man. Oh, word? Yes, sir. You know what's crazy? My my black animal, his name is Animop. A-A-N-I. Granted, I didn't name it that because of the anima part, but... Jumper, thumper, booty bumper. What's up, degenerate? Booty bumping into the chat, man. This class is fun as hell, though. You you might want to try this uh, grinding. Like it's good when you when you uh when you get into a flow of how it actually works. It's definitely a very rewarding class to play. Like it's like DF, except it doesn't feel OP. It, like it feels strong, but it doesn't feel like you're a god. Like DF just feels like the game is plays itself. You really can use a certain key combination playing DF, and you just won't take damage at all, which makes it kind of boring. But this one, you definitely die if you stand still for two seconds. But then it has all these cool skills, and they do hella damage. Like, everything does way too much damage. Still not as fast as Windy or Dagger Windstalker, though. But it's up there. It's up there. I know my Dagger Windstalker is going to be godly now. I know it has to be now that they they fixed the delay between the two dash goes two dash uh, type attacks. This class just nukes every attack is a nuke. It's really up there for the damage. It's just so much damage, man. It compensates for the flaws. And it looks cool, too, here and there. Highlander's probably way better, though. Highlander's just super strong. Acro coffin, then we do an echo for the double chest. <laughs> oh my god, man, I really do not feel like trying to upgrade those accessories. I wonder if I can do an echo normal run. Should I try echo normal with this class?
No party? I'm seeing people everywhere too. No P. That's tough. Nobody wants to party, man. What did you delete? Wait, what are you talking about? Delete. John. Always run Akko as a go, mate. Demigod. Hey, I need to look at the Demigod patch notes, actually, while we sitting there sleeping on Demi. Demi probably came up, dude. Oh, you got rid of the car masters? Tough. They keep buffing Force Master, bro, but it's not, it's not happening. It's just not happening. And I don't understand how Arcmaster works, but everybody else likes it. Well, the people who made it on NA. But they all dropped it to play Rainia, though, so it must not be that good. I mean, these days, though, I mean, well, not specifically speaking to either this update. This character right here is about as strong as my main. It's just missing the Ely skills. But this new weapon in Elemental Stone is super strong, dude. Then again, I don't really find myself spending extra money on these characters. Kind of just played him to run dungeons on easy mode. Champs get strong at level six. And then when you hit level seven, you get more stats. But champs champs scale off of basic stats though. So if you're if you have low strength, then your champs aren't gonna hit that hard, as well as your weapon skill summon. But eventually, they should outscale all your other, other uh, attacks. All my champs are at 7 or a little higher. Yeah, 7, I got one maxed out, and I got one at 8. But they evolve at 6, though, in general. Yeah, bro, this weapon is insane. If you got the elemental stone as well. And it's not even enchanted, bro. Oh my god. I can't imagine what a fully upgraded, fully enchant weapon is. That's crazy. This weapon is only at its base, bro. <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine what the maxed out weapon is like. Holy shit. I just thought about that. All lines maxed out and upgraded to plus six. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's probably how those Korean players have 30k uh, attack damage. They have 30k attack and then they're close to like two build strength. I need to do my Ely dungeons, but I do not feel like it. Every time a new update comes out, I never feel like Ely grinding. Even though the new update usually means I need to Ely grind more than I did before.
need to get those title books too, bro. All those titles. I'm damn near contemplating just saving all my Ely these days to max out my title book, my illustration book. I probably got 10 locks on one of my characters, yeah. Echo. Am I doing this stuff to max my accessories? I'm doing this for EXP and to max all the gear as well, yeah. Oh, too late, brother. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm playing Black Anima next. After this run, I'm switching to Black Anima, so we can do duo, and I'll do Black Anima, and I can buff you too. So, and we can just start off in the Echo run. Some light. Proud of that progress in my homie backstreaming. Let's go. Much love, Big Cold Nasty. Big Cold Nasty. <laughs> Shout out to Big Cold Nasty on a donation. About to go gamble that in the trenches of Latel. I have PK, but I'm far from 2.5K. What's up, Moon? Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not about to, to gamble that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna buy some. I gotta buy some groceries tomorrow. <laughs> this, the campus is about to close. I actually need to go buy some food. I gotta cook for myself for the next month.
This class makes the game look more fun <laughs> than normal. That's why I play classes like Wind, uh, Windia, Dagger, Windstalker, even Dark Chaser. They make the game look more really exciting and fast paced. I mean, the way I see it though is if you get to twenty five hundred faster because of burning. The game helped you level faster, so now you got you have a, more stats and more damage to go backtrack and do the stuff that you you skipped, and you should be able to do that content easier now because you were able to get to twenty five hundred with some free gear and some free levels. Probably got awakening, so now you can actually go focus on your stats for a while and then come back to actually playing the game or, or trying to progress through the game after you got your numbers up. What you have to do in the game regardless, whether you have awakening, not awakening, whether you have burning or not, at some point you literally have to stop grinding and then you have to go focus on the stat systems. There's no avoiding that. At some point down your journey, you got to focus on the stat systems. It's unavoidable. And the best way to do it, honestly, is to just do them in order the way they came out. That way it feels like natural progression. But I do remember when burning stopped at 1500. I definitely was like, hey yo. What the hell? But for me though, instead of focus, I was always, I always did everything side by side. Like I never focus on one thing when I play the game. If I focus on one thing, I'm, I'm gonna stop liking the game very quickly. So I always do content side by side. So I was already progressing all my systems while leveling my, my burning. Because what happened is, is that the burning quests, um, the burning quests are, they're gapped, right? There's the gaps. Like you, you can't turn a quest in for every 100 levels, every 200 levels, something like that. So in between those levels, once I was done grinding every day, I go do my side stuff. Granted, that means you had to be playing the game a lot. I was playing for like eight to 12 hours a day, but I go do my side content and then by the time I actually got to burning 1500, which is where the burning event used to end at, when I was did the burning event, I just started making alts. So by then I was already in the mindset of just make alts, keep making alts, start leveling faster, make alts over and over again. Every alt you make is going to be like 200 to 300 levels for a couple thousand levels. Start getting a bunch of quest items as well. And it's a good way to get your reputation up across the board because you're running through a lot of that same content. On another character, like content you would have stopped playing on your main. Yeah, it is hard to make your alts, your first couple alts. It, it is relatively hard, but eventually everything starts to pick up. My first, my first like two or three alts took a couple days to get to, well, it took like a day to get to 235. And then once I got to 235, it took me a couple days to actually do all the quests. But after a while you start, everything picks up. Progress speeds up if you're doing, if you're rotating the content. Yeah, Dagger's way stronger than Bo. Dagger Windstalker is the best Windstalker right now. But Bo's about to get a rework and it's going to be stronger. Pretty OP rework, actually. Yeah, playing with other people definitely speeds things up a lot because I actually did not include that part in there. When I made my aughts, I definitely was making aughts with other people. Like my guild co-leader, she not on Lunar Shooter, and then I had another co-leader who doesn't play as much, but we, we all were around the same level and we're remaking characters together for a little while. I kind of always leave that part out <laughs> that I definitely didn't play a lot of the game alone when I first came back. Like I was soloing my main character, but... When it was time to like progress some of the harder systems, we definitely were playing together. Reputation is all solo for the most part, though. So reputation, 
champs, all that stuff is solo. But when it came to like grinding alts, finding somebody else who was grinding and all. But I've done that a couple times on stream too. Like when uh when Awakening first dropped, me and Zaf were doing duo EXP parties. Hella people were doing EXP parties at that point though. I don't know what happened. I stopped playing the game for a while. Yeah, if you look at some of my first couple, my first couple of tell videos, when I'm like 3,000, level 3,000, and like 4,000, and some of those clips, like the 30 second clips, it's other people in those parties. That stuff does help a lot. Wait, uh, just a Google account? Are you playing dungeons on normal or are you playing them on easy? Because that doesn't sound right. On easy? You may be missing some fundamental uh, things on your account. And you're not playing with burning? Oh, oh, yeah, there's no burning on your alt. So you don't have the dragon set. Oh, so, I mean. The thing is, just a Google account. Are you, are you preparing your alts with your main character? Like, you know, your main character is way stronger. You can just go get all the gear on your for your alts, and then just you can gear your whole alt out before you get on it. Like, don't make an alt character and try to play play the vanilla game. You definitely want to gear your alt up with your main. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you if you have an ascension main. You should be able to, you know, go on lap, get a max web, max all that stuff out, get all the gear maxed out for that level range on your main fairly easily, and then transfer it over to your your all. Like you don't want to play your all character vanilla. You want to transfer all your stuff over and use your main as leverage. Like, I don't know what, actually, I don't know what 90% of the classes on this game feel like from vanilla. I've only played Gunslinger and Windstalker vanilla for the most part. Everything else was highly funded by the time I started playing it. Yeah, you definitely want to do that, bro. You should not, if you have a main character that's Ascension, you should not be... Uh, you should not be upgrading any items on your alt. Your alt should already have all of its gear upgraded before it starts playing the game. Like, there's no reason to spend time upgrading an item or trying to upgrade gear on your alt character when you have a stronger character that can do it way faster. That's just, that's just burning time, bro. And then another thing you can do, if you have a decent amount of Ely, you can level down your gear. So you can take like level 235 gear and level it down to 205. At the most, that costs a bit, um, LTC wise. But you can level your gear down to a certain amount to make it easier to level up your alts.
Yeah, at that point, you just want to make sure you want to make extra sets of gear that are just strong for your Austin. Like I have, I have plus twenty Sky Kali gear for all my alts back when I was making them from two hundred to two thirty-five, and then I had, and even the specials too, right? Like when you go to the guidebook and you go to items, there's a lot of stuff that gives your, your character damage, right? If you have a level two hundred character, you want to get it some maxed out advanced mutant accessories. If it's two thirteen, you want to get it some maxed out. Uh, blasphemy accessories and then when you're not using this stuff you can just put it in the, in your you can mail it to yourself or you can put it in the storage on another character like you have to do that it's not really there's no way around that you have this is even people who quote unquote pay to win and spend a lot of money like you have everyone does it and then even for these items right like when you go to special equips and textbooks like you, you're putting on a level 200 character your level 200 character should come he should he should be prepared to put on these level 200 textbooks uh, maxed out like you want to you want to give your character as much stats as possible using your main character to fund it like the word funded just means that the character has access to resources that it wouldn't normally have that's not always meaning like you spend real money you just got to use all the resources of the game Wait, the mutant accessories and the the mutant accessories and the um the blasphemy accessories yeah the mutant accessories uh, they increase up to 200 but i mean getting to from 1 to 200 you don't really need to be funded at all you can get the 1 to 200 with some with some account stats and the level up gear yeah they increase up until 200 they, they don't increase beyond 200 though One to two hundred, though. That's those levels. You don't. You really don't need funds. All you have to do is use the free free potions you get from like some of these aren't tradable, but some of them are, are exchangeable. Like the extra two hundred potions you use, then use those level up boxes you have and the level up gear that you have as well. And then you probably should have summonables as well. By now, if you don't have your summonables, you can use those summonables on your main. And you got passive stats coming in from Memorial. Um, not Ascension, but Memorial and Champs. And then making sure your new characters, you're opening the Runestone as well. Uh, you gotta use all the systems, and that's why finishing your illustration book as much as possible, finishing your reputation as much as possible, that stuff gives you account-wise stats that are important if you aren't saving up to buy pets as much. Um, where am I going right now? EXP dungeons. But you definitely have to use all the resources in the game. It's not really any shortcuts. Just be, you know, just because you make one accomplishment here and there, you still gotta use as many resources as possible on the next character. And then eventually, like, long term, the more and more you use those resources, the more and more your account starts to, like, stockpile. By the time you get to your fifth, sixth, seventh alt character, it'll level up way faster than your second alt character or your third because you'll have a, a process and more gear access and more account stats. Yeah, you gotta make setups across the board, man. That's the thing about the Latell, which is why I still play it, is that no matter what, how you look at it, the game is not like, like it's not easy. And it's, it still requires some actual, um, an actual intentional MMORPG approach when you're playing it like you can't just bullshit through this game it's, it's not forgiving like it doesn't just let you do whatever you definitely gotta take advantage of all the systems always and then eventually things start to pile up you know you start to have a lot of stats across the board that just keeps uh, continue to translate long term Like, with each alt you make, the stronger your account should get. And eventually your account gets to a certain point where it's just... Where all that early game content is nothing. Yeah, you want to save all that stuff, man. Until you don't need it. 
potion am I trying to open it right now? Might as well do the 200 pot. I'm going to do this. Do Rivera, then I'm going to swap characters. I kind of want to keep playing this, though. This, this class is pretty fun, not going to lie. I think I got my lineup now. Windia, Dagger, Windstalker, Highlander, Judgment. And now I'm about to try Black Anima. Oh, Dark Chaser. If I didn't say that already. But some of these classes are not fun to do EXP dungeons with at all. But it's all good though, I'm gonna stop doing EXP dungeons. So reliantly. That's also why I didn't name this stream Road to Level Cap. Because testing some stuff out. Well, you know, Moon, uh, Nightmare Weapons just got nerfed, so you can get a, a plus six Nightmare Weapon with just 60 mats, and it doesn't cost any Ely to upgrade. And enchantment-wise, honestly, bro, on playing a game on easy mode, you can always get away with just getting your enchants to level 10. There's really no reason to min-max in this game, unless you're planning on solo on the dungeons on normal. So there's enough systems to give you enough stats to play the game on easy. Granted, you know, spending money and whatnot cuts the times in half, right? Like my, where I'm at in the game right now, a RG run for me is probably like eight minutes. For somebody else who's completely free to play, who were to get uh, where I'm at or close to where I'm at, you probably can get your run down to like twice that, like 16 minutes. Because at the end of the day, most of the money spent are just time savers. All it does is make the game faster. All this stuff. Cookies. Need a fast. They, they need to buff the the pet shop so you can sell stuff faster. This pet shop sucks. Needs to be some way to like toggle click these. No, I'm not gonna do normal on a new weapon dungeon. The Korean streamer, uh, the active Korean streamer, Naval Layer, he's. Uh, Pretty much stronger, way stronger than me, and it took him two hours to do it when it released. I'm not even going to waste my time with that. Plus, I get really frustrated when I die in this game. Because dying is like, directly, it directly equates to wasted money. Every time you die, it's like 10 cents. I think you're stronger than naval layer grinding. You're you're a you're a min maxer. And I think you're a little higher level than him cuz he just got the level cap. Even though you just got the level cap too, he doesn't uh, like actually grind. He just plays the game similar to how I do, but he's just doing random stuff for YouTube. I mean, yeah, he is harder than you because they have access to more uh, some more items that we don't have access to, and they've had access to them longer. But I think, I think in terms of like where he was when the dungeon came out, you're stronger than him. Because when the dungeon came out, he wasn't level cap yet. For one. He's level cap now, though. Yeah, that's true. But Korean LaSalle has access to other things we don't have as well. They have access to different buffs. They get different events. They have items in their cash shop that are in our boxes and our flash sales. I 
I don't know the Pale Panda. What I do know though is the only people who post videos on YouTube, well, you can find other people who post on YouTube for Korea, but the ones that are all in our face, those are all end gamers, like absolute end gamers and whales. Every once in a while, if you do like a certain search on YouTube, you'll find a random channel of somebody who isn't really a whale, but even those people, a lot of them are way lower level than me and they, they're as strong as me, if not stronger. So honestly, most of the Korean YouTubers are just strong players. They all have like, all their equips are usually awakened. They usually all have pretty good memorials or it's just something on their account that's perfect. Damn, why can't I do any quests? Oh my God. This is annoying. What's up, Shikyo? Oh, I just seen Pale Panda come in chat. That's that's doozy. I'm like, who is he talking about? Pale Panda. I'm like, I don't know a Korean player named Pale Panda. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Isn't that Pale Panda got grinding this week even with Ascension 999? <laughs> Yo, y'all are funny. Yo, there are two guys in the chat right now. It's the battle of the gods in the chat. It's the it's the gods of war right now. It's like Kratos versus Zeus in the chat. Yo, Deucey, what's your... Uh, how fast can you do the new dungeon? Like 20 minutes? You got like a 20 minute normal dungeon run? It's always hard to tell who's in the chat because some of y'all don't have profile pictures. Like it's just a P. I'm like, who's this P? And I see, I mostly see your profile pictures before I see your names. 40 minutes, that's pretty good. 40 minutes is about as fast as um, that doctor Korean guy when he when the dungeon first dropped. And that man is definitely min maxed out right now. His count looks crazy. It's my last run, yo, grind. If you're trying to do that duo echo, I'm about to switch to black anima after this. Yeah, this class is not fun for EXP dungeons. You gotta do way too many skills. PK sounds fun. What am I transferring? Res pots, that's for sure. I'm just going to start transferring my res pots with all my gear for now on. Make it a part of the transfer collection. We got to do all those quests. Yeah, I'm good on that, brother. I don't chase the gods. Good on that. I won't start focusing on damage till I hit cap. Maybe. That's that's a hard maybe. A very, very hard maybe. I mean, you know, you just got done with doing a burning. I think when I got done doing burning, I was probably hitting 200 mil lines. 
not even 500 my goal was to get to 500 but i was done doing burning that level 1500 though not 2500 Yo, they need to put some invisible earrings in the game ASAP. I can't be walking around here with, with uh, some whack earrings in my character's ears. Makes me feel weird. 400 mil, that's pretty good for free to play. That just got done with burning. It's really good, actually. You'll be surprised at how fast it starts to increase by just getting new gear. I don't even know what some of these items are. Like, where do they go to? This man finessed the party. Didn't even notice I accepted it. Bro, I need to get some earrings and some glasses, bro. Look at this. I can't walk around like this. Character looking crazy. Why don't they have any free-to-play earrings in the game? That's pretty silly. Man said it's okay. No, it's not. Need to put on a hat. Bro, these earrings are insane. <laughs> oh my god. This see stuff like this makes me spend money. Oh my god. Why aren't there any invisible earrings? Oh wait, there's invisible earrings now? Where did these come from? What? They got invisible earrings? Did that just drop this patch? How long have these been in the game? I need to put these on all my characters. When did they drop invisible earrings, bro? That's That has to be like this update. They just throw stuff in the game and don't say anything.
They were 120 or 140. Uh, 160. <laughs> neither. It was neither one of those. Oh, they got invisible stockings too? Wait, they've already, always had that, right? No, they've had the ghost stockings, but not invisible stockings. What about Bendy? Nope, no invisible Bendy. That's the face decoration. Do I have any face decorations? Alright, we can go, bruh. I can I can deal with the bendy. The bendy looks kind of decent, not gonna lie. I just can't do those earrings, bro. Let me go to town and get some buffs. Yeah, that black nurse had been in the game for years. I don't know what took him so long. Yeah, I got I got skin stockings on all my characters too. It's hella people in town. What are they doing here? Wait, let's see. Where are we going? Echo. Yo, can, can we get a party hold? Anybody? Any party holders out there? Your name is so long, I always forget it. It's like Moonlight Skepter. Sculptor. Appreciate it. Alright, we should be good. I'm at 9.3, 900k shrink. 936k shrink. This is the main class too, so it's not a... It's not a subclass. I gotta play safe in here. This man grinding trying to kill me. I'm just gonna stand behind grinding the whole time. Let's see. Buffed out gang, let's go. Sure, I'm doing any damage. Plus, I do not know how to play this. Damn, probably should not start off the day playing a character I haven't played in ever in normal mode. Probably not a good idea. Just in the general sense. These summons are so busted. And the fact that you can just keep using the skill over and over again, like every five seconds, and it brings the summon to you is pretty insane.
Good thing about this class though, this is one of those classes where you do not have to think. You can literally just press all your skills in order and watch the magic happen. And there's so much CC on all the skills. You don't have to worry about too much. That's the good thing about summon classes. It's like playing Star Seeker. As long as I'm doing damage, there's nothing to worry about. Not OP at all. Can't take it off in the dungeon anyway, though. Now you can't take it off in the, in the dungeon, though. Serious decoration button it's turned off. They're not killing me though, that's really insane. That's this CC on this class is impeccable. Look at the CC. Yeah, with this OP ass weapon and this stone. I, it's definitely hard carrying me right now. Cause I have no idea what I'm doing. The game is just playing itself. And the mobs are just permanently CC'd and permanently getting stunned in general by the, the summons. Like, I'm, I don't have to really do any kiting. I'm just, <laughs> I'm kind of just standing here and it's just CC this entire wave of mobs. It's really crazy. I think I need to actually go into my awakening skill tree. I don't know if I have all my points allocated. Yeah, the binds are ridiculous. It's binds plus stuns. I got like two skills that have binds on them. Then the weapon skill has a bind on it. Then I got two samurai doing stuns. Definitely peak gameplay. This is going to be my chill class. I really the answer Star Seeker. But that weapon, <laughs> the new weapon summon is just so broken, bro. It's so broken. It seems like it's not doing much, like visually, but is it doing so much? It's like we're playing a whole different game right now. Yeah, this is the most brain off awakening I've played. <laughs> this is really silly. Like, from playing Judgment to playing this, insane difference. All the effort I was putting in. Haven't died yet. Granite grinding is doing all the work, but I haven't died yet. Still beat though. That's what I'm gonna say when we finish this dungeon. Still beat though. Need to go to Choco and get those other buffs after this and run the new dungeon. What do you mean by that? Gems top 10. Where are you guys coming from? I kind of hate that YouTube is recommending the stream to people while I'm playing random shit. I'm pretty sure as a new player, you probably can't even comprehend what you're looking at. I can barely comprehend what I'm looking at right now. It's just lights. I need to get a steam deck, uh, a stream deck, not a steam deck. <laughs> Where 
We're actually cruising through this right now. This is a cruise-like experience. Oh my god. As if on cue. It almost hit the fan. Oh my god. Look at grinding, taking all the aggro. They'll beat though. Man doesn't even need the uh, loot. Look at that. These plants are fun. Oh my god. Will we survive this? With a little dashing and a little lag, anything is possible. Half the time, I can't even tell what he's doing. It's like, do I have his skills turned off? Oh, I don't. I don't know why, but his skills seem to be like brighter. I mean, not brighter, like lighter or something. I'm doing all my skills. I can't tell that his skills are going off. Still beat though. Look at that shield. Immunity. Stun. Shield. Immunity. Stun. Can't die. Undefeated. Need to open these chests though. I actually need these mats. That's some evil shit to put the chest up there like that. On top of these spikes. Still beat though. If I had my, my numbers on right now, you wouldn't even be able to see the gameplay. Looks like an anime fight right now. They just be straight digits. option to turn other players skills down oh you can turn other people's no you can turn their damage down oh there's only an option to turn their skills off completely I don't want to do that I just want to turn them down y'all see how long this run is and this man wants me to solo this every day insane absolutely insane I don't know what he's smoking. But this is the, the first real Latell gameplay that's been on the stream since I came back. I've not played any normal dungeons. <laughs> the, the experience did feel thicker. It's really just insane that the Korean players play like this every day, all day. Well, not all of them, just the ones we see on YouTube. I couldn't move, bruh. We gotta kill the summons.
She got a phase two. Oh god. Why did why did her phase two turn her HP bar off though? Yeah, I don't know what to do about that besides die. What a champ, man. What a Chad. Taking all the aggro, man. That's a real man right there. Only real men take all the aggro. What do you do to dodge that? Jump up? Oh, he's dead. Oh, never mind. He made it. GG well played. Oh, were you going to switch to, to item drop race stuff? I mean, we got a lot of drops regardless, looks like. That's actually a lot of shit. That is a really large amount of items for us to have. How much item drop rate did I have? I only had 315 item drop rate on. I probably could have easily went up to 500 or 600. That's a lot of items. Oh, it's times two chests. He said with fun? I don't know about fun. Oh yeah, that was times two chests. That's why we got all those items here. Yeah, that makes sense. Fun is a... That's questionable. I was stressed out. I'm sitting here sweating, bro. My seat is soaked. Damn, that's a lot of mats. Yo, a duo with three... <laughs> that's crazy. A duo with 300 item drop rate, which is extremely low. Could easily went up to 600 to 900. With double chests on normal, gave 231 mats. That's crazy. That's literally... That means if I make... If we do a run on another set of characters, that's an automatic gear level up. Granted, it's six pieces of accessories, so honestly... It's not that this is crazy, it's more like this is what it's supposed to be. Opposed to what it usually feels like. But it was double chest though. It was double chest. Uh oh, we got a god in the chat. 900 IDR. We got a guy in the chat. I'm about to go do these new dungeons though. <laughs> this man's really trying to get me to play normal dungeons, bro, but I'm gonna be dying. I'm not trying to die. This man wants me to die. Bro, you better not go on a normal, bro. Don't even, don't even do that, bro. <laughs> don't even do that, bro. All I got is 24 red spots. That's not enough for a normal run here. Fuck no. We need like a bard. If we had a bard, I'd do it though. It's just too much dying.
Damn cat. Man, thank God for that backflip patch, though. These hit, bro, these mobs hit harder than normal Echo. <laughs> That's actually insane. This is the easy mode, and these hit harder than normal Echo. Somebody on YouTube said that. This Korean pl player, he commented on a Korean video, and he told somebody else, I had translated it, he told somebody else that this is harder than normal Echo. But the thing is, it's not harder. Like, the HP isn't... The HP bars aren't as long as normal Echo, but the damage is higher than normal Echo, which is pretty funny. Yeah, this new dungeon. But it's a weapon dungeon though. Weapon dungeon mobs should hit hard. This makes sense. Definitely makes sense. But damn. Hidden harder than a normal dungeon, a normal accessory, because the Echo is a raid as well. Oh, that's how you lure that, lure that part of the map? I did not know that. Man, been watching some Korean videos. It's actually crazy how fast that weapon summon comes out, bro. That is so consistent. Oh my god. Imagine how amazing this would be with no rubber banding and teleporting all around. And by imagine, I mean literally imagine, because that's all you can do. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> One shot by the spikes. The spikes hit more than 4.5 mil HP. Thank God for backflips. It's 
it's honestly kind of fast when you mop the whole when you lure the entire map the way he's doing I was doing like 18 minute 17 minute runs on my aughts with poor Lauren and a lot of dying did like a 15 minute run on my main Oh my god. God damn. That's a lot of mobs, bro. <laughs> yeah, I knew it wasn't surviving that. That's way too many mobs. <laughs> And I don't even know what skills use the shields or gives a shield. I need to read the descriptions. I don't know, man. I think we could have did normal. <laughs> that would have been a headache, bro. Normal would have been an absolute headache. I died three times in there. Nice, two bags. Looks like we got the, the loot we would have got. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I got some new guns. Let's go. Crit rate guns, though. I need cooldown guns. And more knuckles. The one weapon that's not going to sell at all. Stuff. I need a chainsword. A fan. I need a chainsword, a war fan. A spiral sword. Chainsword, Warfan, Spiral Sword. I think that's it. And then whatever else they want to give me. Mirror Dungeon. Normal? Yeah. I mean, this this should be it's two of us, right? We should be straight. Nah. Okay. Yeah, this going this going to be. Wait, wait. Let me go to the bathroom. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> this this going to be hard. This is actually going to be hard. <laughs> yeah.
Yo, what we need... What we need is a bard, bro. We need a... We need a bard. Is there a level 4,000 bard on the stream, bro? Well, actually, not 4,000. We need a level... Level 3,700 bard. We need a bard, bro. And we can really run through all this like it's nothing. If we get a bard that knows how to play support. Like, actually support. I did 24 levels tonight. What time is it? It's only 9.34. I definitely can get up to like 30 to 40 levels. Which is pretty good for the random stuff I'm doing. Not really that random, but the lack of structure. Oh, he's playing Savior. He's not going to play that. I thought even he had another computer with a Savior. Need to use my star eating tree on this one. I mean, damage wise, we should be straight. Oh, yeah, John. Definitely easy. Easy levels out here, man. When it comes to doing new dungeons. Speaking of which, let me see if I can do. Um, Work on my awakening skills real quick. Oh wow, look at that. They got a... They dropped a new region, but they did actually did not put the new region inside the guidebook town list. Unless this isn't actually a town yet. Probably just a, a dungeon zone, not actually a town. We're getting another big patch though next month with a new class and I think we get EXP dungeons with it. And a bunch of other random stuff. Gotta look at the update. Oh, got no skill points. Uh, besides the infinity skill, crit damage. Got this movement speed buff that honestly isn't really worth it. Because moving that fast makes me lag. Probably be better off hitting more mobs. So HP won't hurt. The EXP dungeons, I don't know what they all are. I just know that they go up to 8,000. Yeah, they stop at 8,000. It's a couple, but they're on that map. They're on the new map. When you go to the new map, there's like a portal. Let me see if I can go to it real quick. When you go to the new region... Not I Island. It's the the connecting region, the connecting zone. So you go to Freos, and you go to Gateway Net Nares right here. This zone right here. These three portals are going to be EXP dungeons. At least I believe. I know I saw it on YouTube. It may not be these. It may be something that looks similar to it. But I know you can't access these right now. It might might not be those. I gotta go check on YouTube. Don't want to give a false info. I just know that it's a couple of them. 
news for rent real quick question i'm doing legend 2 quest how do i start the episode 2 for royal forest i can't seem to find where to accept it where to accept it uh, you go back when you're doing the legend quest you just keep going back to what's her name uh xenon you, you go back to xenon's office and if it hasn't popped up yet change channel change channel or log out log back in again sometimes it doesn't pop up what happens is when you're doing legend quest you gotta slow down when you get to the last quest when you do the the stone yeah when you do the stone at the end of each legend quest make sure you wait a couple minutes before you leave out of the portal because if you don't wait the next quest won't pop up so you'll have to wait till you log in again for it to pop up so just just try to like take it slow when you're doing the legend skill quest to actually make sure that the next quest pops up before you leave dungeons Yeah, so you just make sure you go slow when you're doing those quests. This beat hit a little different when not, when it's normal dungeon. I don't know why, but when it was on easy mode, this beat felt had a whole different vibe. Now it's normal. I don't know, man. It's, it's, a, little, it's a different vibe going on right now. Do a crit. Ready? Let's do it. Oh my god. Should we even mob? Should we lure? Oh my god, we should not lure. I got one shot. <laughs> we should not lure. Oh shit. Unless, oh, oh we're really, really, you're luring. Well, you lure and I'll just follow behind. I'll just support as I should anyway. Let the tank tank up the damage. And I'll CC the mobs from behind. I'll You, you get them from the front and I'll hit them from the back. Nah, that shit is way too tanky. How are you not dying? <laughs> oh my god. Why are they aggroing me and doing so much damage? Then again, I am standing still. Probably should not stand still. Nah, this shit crazy. I can't, I can't hit, take any hits without dying. Right now, he's dying faster now too. Just gotta play the game smart, but it's hard. It's kind of hard to play smart when you're split, splitting up the wave. Like, or you can't, you can't tell what mobs are following you at what moment and whatnot. So it's kind of hard to do all the kiting and whatnot. And then also the game is super laggy all together. You know this shit taking a long time when your your legend skill comes back every time you go to a new group of mobs. When the one minute legend skill cooldown is always up for some reason. Aren't they falling?
I gotta chill out though. I only have 17 lives left. I'll need at least 18 for the rest of this run. And they're vicious too. They really make us kill every mob on all these maps. Oh my god, I don't know how we're gonna do the boss here. That boss is terrifying. You can't even get close to her. On easy mode, so I wonder how the normal mode is gonna be. Uh oh. I may need to start putting HP bars, I mean HP uh, potions in my hotbar. That's another reason I don't like to do normal dungeons, is because since I came back to the game last year, I built a very bad habit where I don't put HP potions in my hotbar, so I'm actually not used to healing myself. I'm used to my pets healing me on, um, on their own. This dungeon drops a belt. Just a belt. Just a belt. Damn, now that I mention it, now that I put it that way, it does not seem like this, we should be doing this like this. <laughs> it just drops a belt. Hopefully I get like three of them though and I get a guaranteed upgrade because I'm using the old belt. Using up a lot of resources for just a belt. I need to get my HP higher though. My HP is considered very low for the level I am. And how far I am in the game in general. Need to get my HP up. This is so stupid. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. One one lag, that's all. One fall, that's all. All it took was one mess up. And I'm sitting here kiting the mobs with skills I have no idea what they do. And barely hitting the mobs because I'm scared to, to get close to them. And dead. Not the best class to do this with. Because at least if I was playing a faster class, I'd know how to stay alive. Oh my god. Fourteen red spots left. Damn. Need to cash out on red spots, man. The time has come to open my wallet for the direct survival. We've been on this map for a long time. It's really hard to lure the mobs here because it's hard to tell where they fall at. Like, what... Where the edge of the platforms are, rather. <laughs> I walked in, walked in the room, got smoked. That reminds me how it feels when I'm leeching other players, and they walk into the room. I tell them to slow down. I'm not hitting shit. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I had like a 50 combo. Once.
Dead. I need at least 10 rest spots for that boss. I know it. This damn lamp class, bro. Should have played something else for this. Probably Highlander would have been crazy. I don't have a weapon for it yet. Or Dark Chaser now, I think about it. Oh, this is actually my only option. It's 948. I need to do Ely Dungeon soon. Hopefully I don't forget before reset. I got guns though, so I guess I could play my main character at the reset. And just play with Gunslinger. Because I haven't played Gunslinger in a while and it actually got a pretty big buff this patch i need to read the patch notes for gunslinger actually oh my god all right there we go i got 10 rest pots for the boss calculate it Nine rest pots for the boss. Damage check room. Oh my god. Eight rest pots for the boss. Uh oh. A godly donation. Nice. Appreciate it. Definitely not doing this again, but it was fun though. It was fun. Hey, good time. Okay, it's one. I really need to just get my HP up. That's the main problem. I need like two mil more HP. That's what happens when you progress through the game way too fast. Without focusing on every stat. Two. Three. I don't even see my bar go down. It's just it's just one shot, bro. Four. <laughs> Literally just one shots. Five. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> this shit is insane. <laughs> really can't even get close to her like that. Seven. It's a good thing he traded me though. I would have ran out of revives in his next death. He's trying to play safe but still do damage. Oh my god. You know this one is my fault though. I'm the one that said we should do normal for this. Can't even blame grinding this time. Come on, bro. Why does that skill just pop up with no indication that it's coming? Imagine having no rest spots and just re-entering every time you die. You know how long it would take to finish this run? It'd take a, like a, a reset.
What's crazy about this is that there are Korean players on YouTube that run this in like five minutes. That is just silly and insane. They run through like when Korean players, the in-game Korean players be doing these in-game dungeon runs on YouTube, bro. The boss fights be so fast. I never even get to learn that the boss does all these attacks. favorite attack. I love when she does that. Reminds me of home. God. <laughs> Bet that. <laughs> Bet that. Oh my god. I died... 30 times that run. 30 deaths. That's about how many times I died the first time I soloed Rosen Garden on easy when I first came back to the game. I was so mad. You know it's an in-game dungeon when he when he hits the, the chest the first couple times and he misses. Oh, it's a dash. <laughs> oh, we got a belt. Got one belt. Oh, those stats are pretty big though. Hold on, let me put that on real quick. Oh yeah, that belt is instantly better without any enchants. That's pretty good. That's new. But the attack drops though. So I'm not sure how much better it is. I gotta go test it. And Elias. That's sick though. They should not make dungeons like that like that is actually unplayable content for people who are not <laughs> funded to a certain extent like normally i, I don't use those, those kind of terms but nah bro that's unplayable content right there you cannot play that content without an exuberant amount of funds <laughs> yeah man i don't know about that one and on normal though on easy you can play it you can make it work make it happen let me go ahead and test out this belt damage. Yeah. 
3.4 is like the same. <laughs> Let's see. 3.469. 3.462. Okay, the new belt is weaker until I enchant it. Let's try a different attack. Two point four eight, two point six, two point six. Two point four eight. Two point four eight. Oh, damn, I just noticed this character isn't in a guild. How did I just notice this character isn't in the guild? Oh, my God. I'm missing so much stats. I'm missing so much stats. I probably wasn't even hitting the monster sometimes because of my accuracy. Let's join a random guild real quick. This should work. Look all these level cappers in this guild. The elite level cappers. It's a pretty large amount of level cappers in this guild. What are the stats I get? Guild skill. I need to upgrade these skills on my guild. It's max. Let's see. 2.8. Went up a little bit. Two five four nine versus two five five one. So this new belt makes my summons stronger, but it makes my normal skills weaker. And this class mostly uses summons, so I guess I'll just stick with the new belt. It has more confusion resistance on it as well. And stun resistance, that's pretty good. Gotta get back to this grind though. Cause I gotta go do EXP dungeons. I mean not EXP dungeons, my Ely dungeons in a little minute. A lot of progress though. Very stressful. And it's already 10 o'clock. But I should be able to get through both of these dungeons before I need to swap over to the other character.
And only five red spots, so let's not die here. About to hit Awakening 78, though. Let's go. Might hit 79 by the end of this weekend. Gotta do a little bit of work tomorrow, and then I'm pretty much free. After that, gotta finish this checkout process. Oh my god, I had a bad title on too. No guild, bad title. Uh. Sheesh. Melting. It was straight. It was straight. Well, well, honestly, everything was fun up into the part where we went to, into that last dungeon. That was a mistake, but but I'll never forget that experience. It'll live with me for the rest of my life. And I also should be able to upgrade that belt a couple times. Let's see. Yep. Probably gonna upgrade that belt at least three to five times. That's pretty cool. Got to enchant it though, and hopefully it doesn't break. Pet is infinitely looting right now. What is wrong with the pet? could use one more skill honestly I really was just barely moving because of the character I mean the class I'm playing I don't know how long these skill animations are so I don't know when I can move after using them but I probably just need to start toggling the dash button after I press skills, because that's just the right way to play the game in general. Just toggle, toggle run after every skill. Instead of trying to spam skills back to back. Because usually you can run through mobs if you attack them, then toggle. Or input, not necessarily toggle, but input dashing. It's crazy, I just got, never mind. I did just get those guns, but I definitely don't have a run on my main, so it didn't matter anyway. About to run in on my main with the guns, though. After reset, hopefully I get another new weapon. Feels like I'm playing an early version of the game right now because of how scarce the weapons are. Feels like I'm really working for something. Then, once I, once I get every single weapon, I'm gonna be forward. Well, probably, I guess, start trying to actually enchant the weapons. And there are, they're technically in cheaper to enchant than RG webs. It's just going to be way more disappointment. And probably need way more duplicates. But like overall cheaper. Because it's only 200 mil in enchant. What's up Mr. Bomb? The demon bind? Demon Bind and what is this a healer? Does it does this heal? It doesn't heal, does it? Why LL4? How 
how many new people have come into the stream tonight? That's insane. Maybe I should start titling the streams like this more often. Oh. Oh, I see. Which one is the demon bind? I don't think I have the demon bind skill. I must have opted into some, something else. Unless you mean that that big demon attack. That binds? I thought it just shields. Oh wow, I thought that just shields. It shields and binds? That's OP. I also should remember that I can backflip. Honestly, if I had just used my backflip skill once in that boss fight, I probably would have survived. I don't think I used the backflip skill one time in that whole boss fight. In that last round. She kills those summons so fast. I didn't even know they had HP. This is not the best Boston class, but honestly, no. Only like three classes in the game really do well against her because of the way she attacks. She's not even really a good judge for how well a class can fight bosses. I need to get more HP though. That's definitely for sure. I need to focus on that. Right now I'm selling, saving my Ely up to try to buy that Pandori. I said Ely, right? Not EXP. Rono's time. It's 10, 11 after this. Go do my Ely dungeons. Then it's going to be reset. After it resets, use DF to try to get some more weapons. Hopefully I get a weapon for another class. More content. More fun.
What's up, Ruiz? Supporting the band. What do you mean by supporting the band, man? I got the new weapon on a couple characters. This is one of them right here.
Oh, my bad, bro. The new webcam enchant is just a different system. It's a completely new system. I'll show you it. I was texting and I had a hard time comprehending what you were saying too for a while. The new enchant, enchant system is it's three levels and it starts off the first level with random stats. It's going to be random stats all three levels, but the first level is a 45% chance, and if it fails, it, it's automatic break across the board. Um, and then for the next two levels, it's a 100% chance, but it's way higher stats than the last uh, or the older weapons. But it's transitioned to a new system, or well, really the same system that the armors work off of.
Oh man, that took way longer than it was supposed to. It's 10:34. Damn, bro. All that texting made me slow down like crazy. Oh, actually, no. I was wasn't supposed to come here to begin with. That's what happened. I was supposed to go switch characters a long time ago. Well, that's that. I probably can do literally two, <laughs> two or one Ely dungeon, and just call it on that, and just go to the, the new web dungeon, bro. I got so distracted. I was daydreaming for like 15 minutes. Yeesh. Got into that Latell trance. Yeah. Got stuck in a daydreaming trance, man. Yeah, I definitely missed the Ely dungeon. It's about to reset. Everything's gonna reset in one minute. <laughs> That's tough, man. It is what it is. Yeah, it's a seventy three ninety three. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Still progress is progress, man. Missing out on gains. Gains are gains. Granted, I really didn't feel like doing an Ely dungeon. I never feel like doing an Ely dungeon. It's crazy. It used to take an hour or two to get a decent amount of Ely from Ely farming. And I was willing to do it, but now that it takes me 10 minutes, I never want to do it. Honestly, kind of insane. I 
I probably can go for a accessory upgrade, actually. Which one should I upgrade? Probably earrings. It's a 85% chance of success, so I need to do this on my other character. Damn, I should have unlocked this so I can sell these guns. I forgot. Forgot the new guns were going to drop. Completely ignored that. Let me go read the patch notes for DF. I know we got a bunch of changes. My strength is so much lower on DL. Oh, no, it's not. I just don't have the buffs on. I'm like, yo, why the shrink so much lower? Wait, did I just drop a missile? Oh wow, that's new. I dropped a missile and gave a movement speed bus. Oh my god, my, my, I just slurred all those words. It dropped a missile and gave a movement speed buff. That's insane. Nah, no way. The hell was that? That's super new. Let me switch. I need to go read those patch notes. This is still better. Whoa, where'd the where'd the missile go? It just didn't drop at all. Okay, there it is. That missile just sometimes doesn't come down. That's crazy.
All right, let's go. The A crit rate. Uh oh, I'm not doing a lot of damage. I will say though, these new guns look good with the fit. kind of big but Damn, it's lagging so bad. I can't even grab the ladder, bro. It's like I'm in California or something. That's insane. Maybe I'm just moving really fast. Bruh, I cannot grab the ladder. Yeesh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm running way too fast.
Yo, do I even have red spots on this character? I don't. Oh, I do. She's making sure. I'm like, yo, what? What if I die? Granted, this class is so OP. It's kind of hard to die. I'd have to try to die. I don't even take damage from all the utility. Really insane, honestly, compared to all the other classes I'll be playing. I don't even use Gatlin like that. I need to try to use it. It was already super strong. I don't understand what they made it more broken for like I'm not taking damage bro I'm not really getting hit you saw every other character I played I died here at least five times besides when I did the duo but nah even when I did the duo with, with grinding I was still dying this character just doesn't get hit like all these skills that keep you alive Then when you do get oh there it is <laughs> I called it as if on cue I was about to say and then when you do get stuck <laughs> you can just use the, the block but I messed up there so I guess but yeah you gotta play really bad though like you gotta damn near stand still to die which is essentially what happened there but for the most part most of the skills are a dodge or some kind of utility that keeps you alive because this is the fastest run I've had and let's see I'm seven I'm seven minutes in about not nah, about eight or nine minutes into this run almost done nah, probably not even eight or nine because I used the luster on the first map and it has seven minutes left just so much CC craziest part it's not even like it's full potential because i'm using the the attack and the critical rate bullet Okay, yeah, so it looks like that block is not that strong when there's too many mobs. That's good. It's not completely invincible. But in most case scenarios, I can just not stand still like that.
I did not die in those situations if I used my iframe skills. But we up three deaths now. That was fair game. Balanced. I should use this skill a lot more. Okay, four defs. Yep, DF is balanced. I take back everything I said earlier. It's not that good. Ridiculously fast, though. One K movement speed without red buff is insane. And still getting stopped by the mobs, also insane. It might be more insane than the stat itself, despite having ridiculously high movement speed. The mobs are still catching me. Missed the quest drop. That's tough. I can't start doing the daily quest because I missed a quest drop. I probably can come back in though at the end. And go find it. You know you've been in a dungeon for a long time when your red buff and your hero's nature buff come back. But it hasn't been 20 minutes yet though, because Lustra was still here. How long has it been? 15.
Wanderer, Black Jade, Jewel Star, and a shield. And it's a night shield too, not even a Damn. Not even an explorer shield. That's tough. I was hoping to at least get a shield or a fan or something. What's up, Chaos? How goes it? Oh, yeah, I can sell you Jewel Star. What's up? You want it? Come get it, brother. It's a crit rate weapon. Oh, wow. The daily quest doesn't give the, <laughs> the coupon. If the daily quest doesn't give the coupon, that means they expect you to actually pick the coupons up from the, the box. But that box is only in normal. It's at the end of the dungeon in normal. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, you can get the Jewel Star wet, bro. Pull up. Got a black jade already. You want me to lock it or you lock it? I have 110 locks. You got locks or how do you want to do this situation? I need to run that again though. Damn bro, I need to get that Dark Chaser whip. I want to play Dark Chaser here, bro. Come on. Who else can I play here? All I can play is Star Seeker. I mean, Judgment was kind of fun. I'll, I'll go play Judgment again, but damn. about to be two more level cappers star Yeah, man, how much money? It's 10 locks. It's 
10 locks. Yeah, come here, Elias. Big bands, man. Money man. The money man. Buzz up, bro. Definitely gotta get to sleep on time tonight. Messed up my circadian rhythm last night, man. No problem. No problem, brother. Yes, sir. The dungeon won't be replaced until December of 2024. So it'll definitely take years. Well, it's going to take the average player a couple months just to get a good enchant. And then after you get the good enchant, then you got to upgrade it without breaking it because it can it can break even with max enchant. Yeah, but the upgrading the part is the least of the worries. It's the actually enchanting part. I may have said the same words twice in both contexts. The enchanting process is very hard in RNG. So even if you do succeed, you may succeed with low numbers or bad numbers. The upgrading part is not 100% guaranteed. So yes, sir. But what that does mean, though, is that a perfected in-game weapon will be extremely strong. Extremely strong. But ironically, though, people on Korean Lato already have the weapon <laughs> perfected. And they got the dungeon six months ago. There are some in-gamers on there who already have perfect weapons. So it can't be that bad, right? Can't be that bad.
All right, let's go again. The coolest design? I think the RG Web's pretty cool. But honestly, it kind of depends on your, your outfit. I like the RG Webs. The level 1800 weapons. Unless you mean like which weapon out of the new webs has the coolest design. The MG is pretty cool. Um, the MG looks cool. Honestly, most of the weapons look kind of ugly to me. Like the new, the new webs. MG looks cool though. Uh, the, the sorcerer weapon looks really cool too. Yeah, this actually sorcerer and star seeker probably have the coolest design. Let me show you those real quick. Sorcerer, uh, well, archmage, archmage and star seeker probably have the coolest designs. I can imagine phantom mage's weapon is cool too, but we won't see that for a while. Unless I pull one tonight. And probably... Probably Highlander. But I like Archmage's orb. Look at that orb. That orb is super cool. Looks really mystical. Magic. It really fits the, the theme of the class. And then Starseeker has like a smaller ball than normal. Usually the ball is really big. That ball looks pretty cool. Like, it's like a... I don't know. It's very unassuming. For something that's so strong. It looks so unassuming. And then... Yeah, no problem. You know, I'm a YouTuber, so, you know. Everything's for the content. Look at... Actually, let's look at Sefi. I haven't looked at Sefi one yet. Oh, there goes my jacket. Yo, I was wondering where the hell this jacket went. I was looking for this jacket for a week. I thought the jacket got glitched out of the game. Oh my god, my jacket. Oh, Sefi Web looks pretty cool. Who else I got? I got... Got a dagger left and a shield. Yo, I was wondering what the hell happened to my jacket, bro. Of course, I would have never found it on that character because I never go on that character. Can't really see the shield. Oh, there it is. I mean, it's straight. A class I probably won't touch. But I don't like, I've seen the dagger, Windstalker setup. I don't really like the way the shield looks. And I'm probably going to change my outfit now because of the new weapon. I don't think it's going to match out. It's going to match really well with the ninja get up. Like, RG webs look really good with the ninja setup. Look at that. Looks really cool. But now I'm switching it to, like, this dagger. This dagger's straight. But the shield doesn't look really good. Because RG, look at this shield. This shield is fire. I don't have the Rogue Master dagger. Only the the uh, general dagger, or well, the rogue master knife, actually is what it's called. All right, man, let's go do this. Ugh. Let's see what else I can pull out of this dungeon. I really want to pull some new webs. I keep pulling the same webs, bro. They gave me multiple knuckles, multiple orbs, multiple uh, black J webs. I need some new different webs. Shit takes 20 minutes. Hopefully I don't die anymore. Rogue Master is definitely still strong, but because of the the movement speed and the damage of new dungeons, 
the mobs in new dungeons uh, rogue master dies really easily so even though it's strong it, it lacks sustainability so it's fallen off of its throne quite far actually off the throne right now top classes are windia windia rainia spear hero mace savior ng star maybe agony and then after that just a bunch of random stuff to some extent yeah spear hero is top tier if i pull a spear i'll, I'll play it if i pull a spear out this run i got awakening spear hero Yeah, Spear Hero is crazy. I can show you. I'll show you regardless if I get the Spear or not. If you're still here, you gotta remind me. I'll, I would definitely forget. Oh man, let's do this. Damn cat. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I ran in there like I knew what I was doing. I definitely just started playing this class today. I have no idea what I'm doing, actually. I had no game plan. Oh, I think my auto heals off. Yep. Just gave away two red spots. And I wanted to use that run for a YouTube video. Guess I gotta wait till tomorrow. Then I gotta also get my muscle memory back. Give me like three minutes. And I'll start looking cool. Oh my god. Am I wearing all the gear? Oh my god, they're melting me, bro. I am. I need to use Junia. Oh man. Man, I had this issue with changing characters and forgetting how to play the game. But I hear you, John. I'll be good in a couple minutes. I really should have went to the arena and just got some muscle memory going for this class before I just hopped in here like that. <laughs> I really hopped in here so confident. Got humbled so quickly. Oh my god. Wrong skill. I should have been using Esco earlier for that those um the damage immunity. Oh my god, the cat, bro. The miscellaneous cat in the middle of the map that just finds you out of nowhere. That's crazy. They got traps in the maps now, bro. Living traps. I bought enough red spots. Seven. I think I died three times. Did 
That's how I should be starting every interaction with the iframe skill. I don't know why the bind isn't working, bro. It's supposed to bind on the first hit. But I guess the roll snipe doesn't bind, only the normal snipe. Yeah. What's a good combo for this? I gotta figure this shit out, bro, because I can't keep dying like this. I think... Lure the map. Iframe. Backflip. Uh, snipe bind. Probably use a shield skill. And then use some summons, maybe. Or, or summons, then your shield skill. Let me try that. <laughs> Got killed by a spike. Alright, better strat. Press buttons. And hope for the best. Nah, this is crazy. This shit don't make no sense, bro. I really feel really bad for all people who are like level 4,000 and, and just attempting to do, go inside this dungeon. I really feel so bad for you. I can't imagine. Cannot imagine. Four rest pots left. Out of the ten I started with. Okay, that skill starts combos really well because it starts, it slows the mobs. Even though you bind them, you slow them right after. It's a very unsafe skill, but it slows the mobs so much. Oh my god, wrong way. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Literally, a, a one second mistake gets you killed. This class makes my fingers hurt. <laughs> oh my god, bro. 
I gotta go watch a Korean video of somebody playing this class with maximum efficiency. Cause I'm about to run out of red spots. Got two left. I think I actually died more of this run than I did when I first started earlier today. Probably should stop using the slash skills. major problem though is that I get so used to playing a class that doesn't ever have to run to kite like it's a class like DF or Windy where I just keep going through the mobs over and over again and it's real safe to do so then when I play a class like this and you can't do that forget that you got to actually run away to kite the mobs which is a strange mechanic to me now But I might want to just start running away when playing every class. It's just hard to do because even when I play Dagger Windstalker, you don't really run away. You just keep dashing in between the mobs over and over again. And they never really hit you because you do dash back and forth with so many different skills. You got to really think playing this shit. Oh, but I'm doing less damage because I'm not using a 100% crit rate. That was what was the reason. I couldn't even tell where I was at right there. One red spot left. Kind of crazy to think that when I first started streaming a year ago, I didn't use red spots at all. I had no red spots on my characters. I only played my main for the most part. 
And if I died, I had to respawn. It made me play the game better. Significantly better. Oh my god. Ooh. I need to just pop a crit potion, bro. Because I am doing or crit food or something. My crit rate is way, way too low. Way, way, way too low. 80 crit rate, that should do it. These mobs are dying super slow, dude. decent combo oh my god oh my god I'm about to die damn oh my god I hate buying res pots, bro. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> what the hell? Caught, I got an error for trying to buy some res pots with 75 LTC? What? Nah, that's insane. Can't even spend money on this game? Nah, what? That's actually insane. It said contact support. <laughs> oh my god. What is this game, bro? Nah, this is insane. This is a this is a bigger issue right now. You can't spend your money in the game right now? No way. <laughs> yeah, hey, yo, words, scam. That's what I'm saying. There's actually a bigger issue at hand here. Yo, that shit opened up the the website. Oh, it bought the rest pots, but hey, yo, it ate my LTC. No, actually scammed. There are no rest pots. You see any rest pots in here? No, you're actually right. It actually is scammed. That shit just ate my LTC right live on stream. Oh my god. No way. No way. Actually scammed. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy, bruh. 
Nah, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, I try to defend Latell in so many ways. I can't even defend that one, bro. That's actually insane, brother. That's actually insane. I can't believe it. That's crazy. Oh, 50 res, bro. Thank you, man. Major donation to the stream. Much love, brother. Oh, my God. They just stole 70 cents from me, bro. Nah, low-key, I feel like 50 res pots. You're trying to say I'm going to die a lot. I'll give you some, though. After this, I'll give you some, Cornbread. Gotta, gotta pay it forward, bro. <laughs> I gotta pay it forward, bro. Always pay it forward. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. They just, that shit just ate my LTC, bro. What the hell? Nah, that's insane. I'm about to call my bank and be like, yo, somebody's been spending money on this papaya. I don't know what papaya is. I don't even eat papayas. They've been spending money on this website for years, and I've never noticed until now. I haven't bought any papayas. I'm allergic to fruit. I need my money back, bro. All of it. All 6K. If I, can, if I can charge back 6k right now, I would do it. I'm letting y'all know that right now with no hesitation. I would, if I could charge back $6,000 I'll spend on this game from all over, over this time, I would do it. And then I, I'd start all over and then spend about half of it and get the same stats. Probably less than half. It's just going to take a thousand hours of gaming to get the EXP back though. And all those in-game systems. I'm pissed, bro. Not even about the red spots. I'm pissed because I just keep dying in here. And I'm really dying because I'm not using the 100% crit rate. Now that's pay to win. This is one thing to, to do damage slower. But they've actually made it where... Like, if my, my numbers were on and you saw the difference between my non-crit damage and my crit damage, it's crazy. Like, I do billions of crit damage, but my non-crit damage is, like, in the hundreds or something. It's weird. <laughs> it's extremely low. That's criminal. Oh, my God. Hopefully, I get another weapon, bro. Nah, no dungeon resets anymore. They fixed that. Because clearly, this game would be absolutely dead if you died and lost your one dungeon run of the day for these impossibly hard dungeons. This game would be gone. <laughs> this, this game would be off the face of the earth. I would have quit this shit a long time ago if I died and lost my run of the day. I mean, you can reset it. You can reset it manually. But they don't reset automatically. Uh, it takes like 10 minutes for it to reset. And it's it's per dungeon. Like the, the single, it's mostly for the single entry dungeons. The non-single entry dungeons, you have to reset them, or they, they auto reset based off of, off of um, clearing it. It's here and there. No, 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 no. It's one entry per day. I'm talking about. He's talking about the dungeons. When you die inside of a dungeon, you leave out. You lose your run because once you leave, you can't re-enter. No, 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 no. You can see the, the entry limit for the dungeon. For, you can see the entry limit for each dungeon in the game. Just press escape. And go to... Mine is on a hot, a hot key, so... 
Where is it at? Where's the dungeon button? I actually don't even know where it's at because I use mine off of hockey. Oh, right here. You can see all the dungeon and entry limits. Sacred Hall has one entrance a day, but you can re enter it when you leave out. You can't start it over. Now, re resetting the dungeon and re entering it are not the same thing. Now they do have instance dungeon reset potions in the game too. I have a couple of those. I've never used them. But they give those out with like events or they're sometime in the flash up. I've gotten a couple from events. Yeah, I'm sure everybody will rage quit and never come back. Oh my god, why did I press no? Ah! Oh my god, bro. Why did I press no? I was reading the chat. Um, I don't think they're tradable. Yeah, they're not tradable. And if they were tradable, they'd sell for like 10 bill. Yeah, that cat is so silly. Need to get a mount on this character. I got hella mounts. I hope I get a dark chaser whip, bro. If I get dark chaser whip, I'm staying up. Fuck it. This is not a good class for Boston. Doesn't do enough lines to summon the the weapon skill enough. In game relies a lot on the weapon skill for damage. That's probably why this class fell off once they started making weapons go. Weapons. It's 
Still pretty strong though. He just never summons. Look how much damage that one summon did the whole fight. Right, bro. What can we get up to on this character? 554. Wow. Wow. I have like 300 item drop rate. Um, no shrooms on this account. And not one of them is on this character. Wow. 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 Seven hundred, not terrible. All right, bro. What we get? Oh my god, two weapons, two rogue knives. I hate this game, bro. I hate this game with a genuine passion, bro. A burning flame, bro. That was like forty minutes, bro. The deaths, the in the accidentally leaving, the LTC being stolen. To get two rogue knives, bro. Really, bro? Two rogue knives? Really? I hate this game, bro. Worst part is that I don't have any other classes that have that are strong enough to run this dungeon that I enjoy playing. I mean, I probably can use Highlander. That shit gonna be a headache. I'm pissed, bro. Another day. I need to focus on leveling up anyway, but still, this was fun until it was not. See, that's the problem with games, man. You can have fun playing a game, but you play too long in one day. You start to not have fun anymore. That's some mage in my head. Then you can pick what you need. I think you should replace dungeon drops with tickets instead. I mean, you get tickets only in normal mode, though. In normal mode, there's a blue chest at the end, and you hit the blue chest, and it drops tickets. A bunch of tickets. But, uh, it'll take me three hours to run that on normal in a thousand red spots. Thing is though, I could have ended on a good note if I had just gotten something that I wanted. <laughs> they just gave me one new weapon to experience. I could have been like, okay, it was a good day today. It still was a good day today, all things considered. You know what I'm saying? Life goes on. But damn, they did me dirty. The only way to redeem that moment right there is for these rogue knives to sell off the shelf. I'm gonna sell these rogue knives off the shelf. No one does this to me. I agree. I agree. No one does this to me as well. Can't believe this. 52. Yo, Cornbread, where you at? You on easy, all right? Get some rest spots. The 4K web so for two bill plus. I think it's one mil, one one bill if you provide the locks. Uh, suck, bro. Scam me, bro. Straight scam. Like staying on. The latest is 11:52. Damn, there's a lot of y'all on the stream too. I feel like I disappointed y'all if I logged off right now. Ah, uh, okay. Let me sell these. I'm gonna sell these, then play Black Anima. 
I think black anima should be easier on that dungeon, bro. I think. I just want a new weapon. Damn rogue knives. Somebody selling. Oh, no one's selling the new knife. Oh, there goes one for three bill. See, I'll sell mine for way cheaper than that. These people are so cheap, bro. I don't understand them. People are so cheap on the server. These rogue knives better sell off the shelf. I probably can get rich selling these uh these new weapons though, not gonna lie. Probably can secure quite the bag. Oh no, I don't have an awakening. I don't have an awakening rogue master. I don't have an awakening rogue master. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like if I play Black Anima, I'm gonna die a lot, but if I play Highlander... If I play Highlander, I'll be alright. Plus, Highlander, I still got those. The initial quest I haven't done on there yet. It's just that I don't have a new weapon. Oh, damn! I'm not playing that Star Seeker anymore. I don't like playing Star Seeker, it feels super weird. What I need to do, though, I, is I need to go do RG. And upgrade this spiral sword to plus six for the low low. That's what I need to do. Then I can use the spiral sword to go do a lot of damage in that dungeon. Or I wonder if anybody's selling RG webs in the auction house for the cheap. <laughs> Let's see. Plus Highlander is just a cool class. Now let's go to level... Look at that! Cheap RG webs. Let's see how many I gotta decompose to get an upgrade. Somebody's gonna be real happy I'm buying their weapons right now. Even though it's kinda wasteful, but at the same time, it's kinda not. More damage is more damage, right? Plus, I could not get a spiral sword ever. And then what? Then what will I do? But well, I'm gonna test this out first and see how many mats you get when you, when you decompose. Oh! You can't decompose a magic rod. Why the hell is this in the game? Get this off my inventory. I just wasted 50 mil. That person's like, what? Somebody actually bought that? Yes, there are idiots out there that buy things. Now you guys have proof that you should put all your items inside of uh, the auction house because idiots like me will buy them. And, and <laughs> regardless of if they have value or not. Okay, I was wrong. No one is selling RG webs that can be dismantled. All these RG webs are for the classes that have uh, undismantled undismantleable weapons and shit bro that's stupid forget it bro i'm just gonna hustle it out bro i'm gonna thug it out bro i can do this i'm gonna thug it out go play highlander use a 100 percent crit potion and die a lot and you know what it's okay though it's okay because it's for the content bro it's not about me bro it's not about me it's for the content for the content it's for the content Content. Content, bro. Oh, yeah, you're right, John. I could sell it. But either way, I don't have mats. I was unfortunate. I probably can solo RG normal fairly easily now, though, and get a bunch of mats right now. Should I test that theory? Should I try to go solo RG normal? Let's see how easy RG normal is. I'm not wasting anything if I can't solo it uh, fairly easily. You never seen me die before? I definitely die every stream. Regularly. I'm always dying. It just happens so fast. I revive so quickly. But let's see. 
Let's see if I can solo RG normal without it taking forever on this character. If I can do that, I can upgrade this weapon and then I can go do the new dungeon. And, but if I die once, I'm leaving. Ah, Highlander. The legendary three triple backflip. That shit is so clutch. Uh, this might take long. Not sure about this. This is like a 20 minute run. They're about as tanky as the mobs in easy mode of that new weapon dungeon, ironically. But the real problem is the boss, not even these mobs. Even though this shit takes a long time. Uh, I normally can do this room in under two minutes on easy, so I'm about a minute slower on normal right now. If I do every room a minute to two minutes slower, this is going to be a... About a 15 minute run. Look at that lag. Oh my god. It's not that bad actually. I'm doing RG normal right now. It's nerfed. It's heavily nerfed, but... RG normal with a plus zero weapon, unenchanted. It's pretty cool. Feeling real Korean right now. What you mean by that, man? What do you mean by that, King? Like it's definitely something something special. Uh, wait, is the whole server lagging? Is it, a lot of people are playing the game right now. I don't know what it is about this update, but it has everybody playing. Okay. It's just me then. I probably should have restarted my client a while ago though. I've had it open a couple hours before I started streaming. I 
Oh, you're lag free. Yeah, I've had my client open for a while, alt tabbing and shit. Could have disrupted it. Because the thing is, the stream isn't lagging. Like, like is the stream disconnecting or anything here and there? Or is the stream is solid, the game's just lagging? I'll probably restart my client before I go into the the new web dungeon at this. I'm really surprised I'm doing this much damage though with a plus zero weapon. They really nerfed this hard. They nerfed this ridiculously hard actually. <laughs> and then it's crazy they nerfed RG and then Highlander has a buff which I forgot what it is. I think they just added lines to a bunch of skills. So they didn't give it any new properties. Just a bunch of lines. Oh they changed this skill and then they put something else there. What did they put there? It's like Oh, you do an additional damage plus two at a 5% chance, which is like essentially, essentially is like a uh, Milky Way pet on all skills at a 5% chance. And that chance uh, is procs, or that chance is rolled rather with every hit. And so if a skill does 26 hits, it's probably going to proc it. Which would explain why this shit is so strong. Highlander actually went up on the Korean Littell popularity list after this update. Now that I think about it. Highlander's like top 10. If not like top 5 almost. But I could be. Boosting a little bit there. Definitely top 10. On the Korean Littell popularity list after this update. So I remember the two heroes. Well the two classes that went up significantly were Highlander and Spear Hero. And then Windia became one over Rainia. This class is very strong for for like very little thought. Like the other classes I was playing, especially Judgment, I gotta really think about what I'm doing. This is really simple. Most of the time, it's just a skill that goes that attacks twice. Look at that lag. A skill that attacks twice. And then, like, it has a shield or it has a dodge because it's going airborne. And then everything is just hitting a lot. And they did a good job by making this not too OP because you can't you can't do any of the double skills with a delay. You have to do them back to back. If you do any movement in between them, it stop, uh, goes on cooldown, which is a, a pretty good way to keep this class balanced. Because if I can do all the skills while moving, it'd be super busted. That's the longest room right there reselling at this point I want to see how hard the boss is going to be though that's the main problem with RG RG normal that boss is insane Really? I still die in that boss a lot. I have a really low HP though. Maybe you got more HP than me? Or are you just a better player? Skill gap? Skill difference?
I'm not gonna lie, I can't even tell. This is normal mode. Gotta watch my tongue though, because every time I start talking trash about the, the dungeon experience, it, it immediately starts getting harder. Like in that DF run I had in theater, and I didn't die for five maps, then I start talking and I start dying back to back. Okay, this mini boss is a good indicator how hard this boss is going to be. Should be dead by now. Oh, they added some hits to that skill. That's good. And gave it damage mitigation. Because that skill was super unsafe before. I don't think I need any of this. Black Anima Blade kind of have messed up bad to die. Oh yeah, because Black Anima has all that sliding around. Black Anima makes me want to try... Uh oh Great Sword. Since they made Great Sword after the way Black Anima plays. I'm gonna be dead here. If I get stunned. Ah, uh, I missed it. There's a thing Korean players do where they like... They perfectly do backflips and then they attack the box without landing on the platform. But my game keeps lagging. Oh my god. That's an, some insane lag actually. I gotta figure that out, bro. Yeah, I gotta restart my client. I, mean, I literally can't even jump a second time. It's like I'm playing from California. Sheesh. Shouldn't be that hard. How long has this run so far? We're at 14 minutes. So it's like twice as long as doing it on easy. Just to think this dungeon was as hard as the current in-game dungeon a year ago. Used to have a headache playing this dungeon, bro. 20 minute runs on easy mode.
Let's go, Asmodia. Show me what you got, my my boy. The real fight doesn't start till he gets down to 35 bars in his second phase. That's when we'll really see what's popping. Or when he summons those damn dogs that one shot you. It's the real battle. And those <laughs> those scythes. And all the honestly the real fight. The real fight. Oh my god. I'm kinda scared. The real fight is actually insane. <laughs> It goes from being fairly easy to out of nowhere. He's doing the craziest full map attacks. Okay, still can't survive that. <laughs> and some things don't change. I need to get more HP. Almost phase two. It's taking me a long time to get out of phase one. Well, almost phase three, I guess. I really just cannot believe how strong those in-game Korean players are, bro. They were doing this dungeon in like eight minutes back in the summer of 2021, bro. On hard mode. Not hard mode, normal mode. I just can't believe how strong they are. That's really insane. Yeah, we're, I feel that. Oh my god. Like, some of this stuff that he does, when I was watching Korean players, the Korean end gamers, go up against this dungeon in the summer of 2021, I never even seen some of these attacks. He never had a chance to do these attacks at all. They were killing him so fast. I've already died like four times. Yeah, gaming culture is so big in Korea. I'm sure they have a lot of time. The Korean streamers I watch, they all stream for about eight hours every time they stream. And they stream every day, if not every other day. And I usually stream for two to four hours. Today is an anomaly. But I'll probably be streaming more in general over the next couple of weeks because it's winter break for my job. All right, man, let's see what we can get here. It just sucks I'm about to stream so much and then go MIA for like a whole week when I go on vacation. We're at 659. Six eighty nine, seven eighty nine, eight thirty nine. Is that the double chest too? Eight thirty nine with double chest. Probably can sell some of this stuff. Who needs RG stuff, bro? I got mats for you. I got free stuff for you, bro. Stream giveaway for the noobs that in the chat.
Who needs what? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Let's get to this disassembling. Yeah, I really can't either. That's a long time. Yeah, easy. Yo. You won't be this level for so long, bro. Wait, John, you don't need... You said all yours are base? It's not easy, yo. It's not pronounced easy, yo. Easy IO is not pronounced easy, yo. Please. Please let me know. How could I have been so foolish? Ezio? Oh, I'm not a, I'm not an Assassin's Creed fan, but I, I feel you though. I feel you on that. I also grew up in a, in a public school system. So my reading and comprehension is probably like on a high school level. But I feel you though. I feel you. Damn, you can't decompose those at all. That's pretty lame. Get that out of my inventory. Yo, John, what do you need, bro? Before I dismantle this stuff, do you need any of the weapons? Need to speed this up so I can go do the other dungeon and go to sleep. I mean, just name it, bro. Just name what you need. Okay, you're good. Okay, cool. You need upgrades, so I can upgrade your stuff. Pretty sure I have more than enough mats to upgrade. Bruh, get this trash out of my inventory. It's messing up the dismantling process. Nice, congrats, brother. My first time doing Sacred Hall. It took me 40 minutes. It is horrific. You're right. I agree. I was actually... It was horrific now, but when I first did it, I was kind of ecstatic because it was the first time I did a dungeon that lasted that long. I was like, oh my god, Latel has actual really long dungeons. It was kind of thrilling. I was like, wow. I did not know that the gameplay could be this extensive. And it, it was part of the motivation that kept me playing last year. I was telling my homie that, my homie Sete, I was like, yo, Sete, bro, this dungeon just took me 40 minutes. I'm so excited. Looking back, though, I don't understand why I was excited. Oh, you finished the Legends? Nice. Congratulations, brethren. Welcome to the other side of the Legend Skill Quest. Now it's long and far behind you. You're one of us and you're invited to the group chat, bro. You're in the, the secret Legend Skill Society. Alright, bro, we got a maxed out Spiral Sword. Let's go over and get the new weapon. Damn that. That umbrella looks fire. This dude looks fire. Look at this guy down here. He looks fire as hell down here.
Nice try, cat. Fuck out of here. I remember you from last time. Oh my god, one taps. Nah, something's off about that. Hey, yo, I literally just got one tap with 4.9 mil HP. Something is absolutely not right about that. What a great way to start. Oh my god, the bind. That bind is crazy, dog. Why am I still bind it? They really show you all the bullshit in the first map, bro. They say, hey man, this is what you're up against. You might want to leave. See this mystical forest? Yeah, there's much worse ahead. Look at these, look at the mobs just running through my, my slow debuff, bro. Holy hell. This is like the worst first map in the game. Come on, birds, please. Making me drop aggro, bro. Birds, please. I've done legends on three character, three or four characters, maybe. The rest of them are all legends skip coupons. No more than four, but more than likely just three. And over the course of playing for over a year. Oh no, you gotta open that wallet, brother. They gave him to returning players though, ironically. Oh my god. Come on, bruh. Oh, my crit rate is down. I just realized I'm using Rich Ring, too. Honestly, it's a pretty good run. For not... Using 100% crit rate and union. Much better than that judgment run for sure.
Oh, snap. No! Damn game. Bruh. I was trapped. I'm about to die here. I'm on top of spikes. Oh my god. Live and learn, live and learn. They knew we'd do that too. They knew we'd try to lure all the mobs on top of <laughs> into that platform. So they put spikes there. That's just evil. Evil genius. I wait till the day I run through this dungeon without dying once. That will be the day. SMH my head, bro. How do you get up there? What? Oh my god. Look at this. 20 minute snare. Or bind or whatever it's called. Yikes. I had like a couple runs where I just wasn't dying a lot and now now we're in hell. Just burning through res pots like the good old days. This is sick. I gotta get good. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I do all that kiting just to get binded, bro. Come on, bro. How do you outplay binds, bro? And which one of the damn mobs is binding me anyway? Is it the birds? It's always the birds, bro. Never trust birds. It's definitely those fucking birds. What's up, Dillard? What kind of birds are those anyway? They're like bugs. Shadow Eagle. And then tentacles just spawning out of nowhere, bro. It's cancer. Yeah, yeah, we'll be we'll be fighting these demons for the next two years for sure. That's absolutely certain. getting an RG web was hard. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. This is insane.
Yeah, but Savior got hard buff though. It, well, May Savior did. Sword Savior is getting a rework in 2023 according to the the roadmap. I can't believe they make me kill every mob to go to the next map, bro. Come on, dog. Toucan Sam coming up. Did someone say Toucan Sam? Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. For the content, am I right? I need to save up for a new computer though, that's definitely for sure. I just don't like desktops. Grew up in the trenches, man, with laptops. You probably can do it. It's just going to take you a long time. That's the thing, bro. Content is usually always doable. It's just about how fast you can do it. Like, my first time doing DTR. Took me 40 minutes. First time doing RG, 40 minutes. Sacred Hall, 40 minutes. Night, brother. I'm I'm following right after this run. You wanna save same wavelength, brother? Messing up my gains, man. Oh, where? Yeah, it's my off day. those gains brother another day another game man DTR is bad bro just as a, a statement no supporting details are needed DTR is bad that is the worst dungeon in the game What? He stunned me out of the sky. That's insane. This dungeon is going to make me go upgrade my gear and, and enchant it and awaken it <laughs> because I am weak and this is not good burning red spots when I can just go farm up some gear and get stronger okay man we made it we made it man we made it we made it 
Let's pray for the best. Oh man. 689. 839 for two backs and oh, we got a mana card and an mg oh my god i'm uninstalling this game it was a good run guys it was a good run it really was 3k armor dungeon is all right it's all right but those those pools they some of these pools that kill you these death pools Definitely not as hard as this shit, bro. I might die in the 3k armor dungeon. I might die. I'm guaranteed five deaths in this dungeon. It appears. I'm pissed though, bro. They would not give me what I want, but I probably can sell that MG. I bet Cat Falco's here. He want that MG. I think he got one already. Yeah, he got one already. He had one last night. What am I doing tomorrow when I get on, bro? I didn't run through all the dungeons already. I guess tomorrow I'll do Black Anima, and I might do Star Seeker if I'm desperate. And then from there, I need the EXP grind back to the grind to level cap priorities. Get to level cap, then work on gear. And Sunday's coming up anyway. Sunday's my day. I upgrade my gear for the most part. Oh, man. I'm actually super tired. One seventy five max. Oh, yeah, you got a maxed out RG web going into that armor dungeon. You should be fine. Oh, man, daddy issues. I got an RTX 2060 or 70, one or the other. Streaming is just laggy, bro. I play this game with like 300 FPS when I'm not streaming. Let's see. Let's see how the mana card looks real quick, though. You just start from the highest one going backwards. Of so Choco going down. And then you go do Warriors Graveyard and Zarina's Training Center. And then do some kill some loot quests. Kill quests. Alright, I'm check out this mana cart and go to sleep, brothers and sisters and friends and family, folks, boys and girls, lads, mates. Oh, I guess I could play Force Master in a new dungeon and be absolutely pissed because I'm going to die a thousand times. I'll be so upset. I probably could play Force Master tomorrow, though, but I don't have a... I didn't get a new Elemental Stone, but I probably can upgrade this Elemental Stone with these RG mats I got, though. Force Master tomorrow? Force Master? Force Master? Be 
Empty flare. Got some decent buffs. Look at that. Three tornadoes came out pretty fast. Or a class would increase summon chance. Summon's not really coming out like that. Those three tornadoes are actually extremely fast. Oh, they got rid of a skill. What skill was that? They added defense, uh, dual defense penetration in place of another skill. That's good though. This class had way too many skills. Alright brothers, sisters, boys and girls, friends, family, men and women alike, as always, remember that life is good, alright? Remember to brush your teeth and wash your face and drink water, eat fruit, vegetables, take care of your loved ones, be nice to others, and don't sit down in chairs all day playing video games. I thank you all once again for hanging out with me as usual. Oh, hey Maxwell, I'm going to sleep, man. Thanks for coming, though. And everyone else. Thank you for coming here on this night. This is the last time we'll ever experience this night. As it only comes once in our lifetime. Let us cherish it. Always and forever. My friends. It's your boy Lamars. The guy. The pal. The bro. I'm calling tonight. Peace.